Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the Mini Engineer Caddy by Hitch and Timber. Let's check it out. All right guys, so here it is, the Mini Engineer Caddy. So check this thing out. So it comes in seven different colors. It comes in a brown nut, English tan, black, crazy horse, autumn harvest, which is this color right here, which I'm absolutely in love with, a natural veg and antique green. And just for the month of March in 2020, they came out with a natural camo color. So right now there's eight colors, but normally there's only seven. So if I get real close to the camera here, you can see just how high quality this leather is. Now I've searched everywhere on the website and unless I'm an idiot, I couldn't see what kind of leather this was, if this was top grain or full grain. But down here on the website, it says, all items are made to order due to natural variation in leather there may be some differences in distress and color so that tells me that this is full grain leather because full grain you can see all the imperfections in the leather top grain you got that top layer shaved off to make it look nice and perfect but just as equal in quality but check out this autumn harvest color here so as you can see I've had this for about three weeks and they say this takes about two weeks to actually form to whatever tools you have in here so you can see I'm starting to get a nice little form a nice little mold here from my flashlight and knife that I've had stuck in here for the last three weeks. And this is why I wanted the Autumn Harvest color, because check it out, it's pretty dark, but once you stick your flashlight or pen in there, it lightens up a lot, and I absolutely love the look of this color. So you can see this heavy duty stitching that lines the whole bottom of the hitch and timber here. And then there's also one right here separating the two pockets. And it looks like there's three different pieces of leather here, the one in the front, the middle piece and then you have the piece in the back for the pocket then down here in the corner you have your hitch and timber stamp and then when you turn to the back check that out i love this logo then up in the corner here you have your lanyard loop and it has a metal grommet over it so i've been rocking this dangle paracord lanyard for the last couple weeks so i've just had it threaded through as so there you go. And because I like carrying pens, I actually ordered the optional mil-spec elastic pen loop right here. It was an extra five bucks, so I figured why the heck not. All right, so let's talk dimensions. It's four and three quarters inches tall by three and a half inches wide. If you got the optional pen loop here, it adds another five eighths of an inch. Then we have the front slots here. The left side is three inches tall by one and a half inches wide. And the right side is two and a half inches tall by one and a half inches wide. All right, so why did I grab the mini engineer caddy? Well. I wanted something more of a compact size to stick in my pocket, but holds everything that I normally carry on an everyday basis. So what have I had in here for the last three weeks? Well, I've had the Civivi Elementum in here because it seemed like a perfect size for that front pocket. You can see here, it's already molded to this Civivi Elementum. But on the website here, it says knives that can fit in here. Knives like Benchmade Proper, the Benchmade Bug Out, which I just so happen to have the brand new Benchmade Bug Out CF Elite right here. So you see how the Civivi Elementum has that nice long pocket clip right here. So I like that. So if I took this out and then tried the new Benchmade Bug Out, which it does fit. So check it out. So if I stick it in there and fits, this is the problem, it has that short pocket clip. So if I get in real close, you can see when I push it down, it's perfectly right there on the edge. So I either have to, and look, it kind of indents it right there and I hate that. Either have to lift this up each time and then it just sits on there, just, oh, it's horrible. So if you have a bug out, the solution is lift it up slightly so it doesn't go all the way in, but I don't like that. So I'm gonna stick with my Civivi Elementum and that nice long pocket clip fits in there perfectly. Then you can see the other pocket right here where I've kept the flashlight. They say that it can fit the 4.7s Prion, the Prometheus Beta QR, the Olight i3 TS and S Mini, but I just picked up this Olight i5T right here. And that's what I've kept in here. It absolutely fits perfectly in there, check this out. So if you picked up a new Olight i5T lately, just so you know, it fits perfectly in the Mini Engineer Caddy. All right, so now let's talk about this pen loop here. So normally I rock this Fisher Space Pen Bullet. On the website here it says, the pen loop is made to fit Fisher Space Bullet Pens, the Midori Travelers, Hinderer, Investigators, and so on and so on. So I knew I carried this every day, so I knew it was gonna fit and check it out. It's just perfect in this little loop here. But if you guys saw my very last video, I did it on the tactile turn bolt action pens. So right here is the titanium short. 
and I kind of demonstrated it in that video. Um, these are a little thicker and it has that texture right here on the pen. So it's a little hard to get in there based on the material here, but it does fit, but it is kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out just based on the pen's texture here. So that's why I think if we're gonna get one of these, these Fisher bullets, it's just slide in so easy. But just to give you another size comparison, here's a tactile turn standard size. And let's jam this gigantic pen in there. You see, I'm having a tough time. So you see it will fit, but it's just not ideal. So I would stick to the Fisher Space Pen Bullets if I were you, or one of the other pens that I mentioned earlier. So looking at the pictures when I was buying this thing, it showed a notebook back here in this back slot, a couple credit cards. So I wasn't really sure what to expect with this back slot, but it kind of looked like a wallet. So I'd figure I can carry my pen, my knife, my flashlight, and some cards back here all at the same time and kind of get rid of my wallet and everything else that I have in my pockets. So how many cards can this back slot hold? Well, let's find out. So I have, let's start out with one. So you can see it has that wave shape here naturally because I have the knife and the flashlight in there. So if I stick a card in there, okay. So, okay, there's one card. That's actually pretty tight. So let's try a second card. Okay, not bad. As you can see, it's starting to bulge out right there. And Okay, there's three cards. So there's three cards right there and I'm starting to take the shape of these cards as you can see. So let's try one more. Let me see if I can get one more in here. Yeah, there's four cards, but they're extremely tight in there. But what I like about the Mini Engineer Caddy is check this out. Because I have that knife and that flashlight in here, I have that natural spot to put my thumb to grab my cards pretty easy. So you see right here, the leather naturally just goes up to fit these two items here. So let's do that again. So I got the four cards in there and guys, these are extremely tight in there. They're not going anywhere. So if I want to grab a card, just reach in there, and pull it out. So just like this, boom. Now if I only want to grab that top card here, not a problem at all. Now it's not the most ideal solution to have cards back here. If you're gonna carry this, I would say only one or two at the most. Then obviously you can just grab the top or the back card super easy. So what about cash? They didn't say anything about cash on the website. So I have about eight bills here folded up in the thirds. I'm gonna keep these two cards in here. So let's see if I can stuff this in here. Once again, it's not made for this. But for a guy like me who likes minimalistic wallets and trying to consolidate all my stuff, obviously, I want to see if I can get cash in here. And yeah, it'll fit. It's just not really made for that. Let me just try something real quick. I'm going to fold this into quarters and then stuff it in there as so. Well, let's see. I don't know, what do you guys think? I have eight bills and they're folded into quarters. It kind of hangs out the top a little bit. I don't want to jam it any farther in, but as you can see, I'm just experimenting right now. So if you guys are cash carriers and don't really need cards, it is possible to get some cash back there, as you can see, but it's not really made for that, obviously. So there you go. If you guys are curious how many cards you can get back there, you can get four cards back there pretty easy. Now, how does this feel in your pocket? It fits in there perfectly because just the shape of this caddy alone, you can tell it just goes into your pocket nice and easy. And if you add this lanyard here, just reach into your pocket, pull out the lanyard, comes out perfectly. So who is this for? If you're a guy like me, you like your pens, you like your knives, you like your flashlights, I want to carry them all in one place, consolidate everything, put them into one spot, you might want to check this thing out. And this is perfect for me to carry at work. I can just leave my wallet in my car, take out a couple credit cards, maybe my ID, stick them back here, maybe a couple bills, and I have everything all in one spot. Now, if you head over to the Hitch and Timber website, you can see right here, everything is made right here in the USA. And there are a ton of different options to choose from. You can see the Card Caddy XL, the Runt, the Runt 2.0 XL, uh, the Pocket Pack that does all. There's the Mini Engineer Caddy right here. Then you got the Engineer Caddy, which is slightly larger than this one right here. Uh, the Pocket Runt, the Proper Slip, I mean, there's three pages of stuff here, guys. You can go check out their website and see what these guys have to offer.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Hitch and Timber's Mini Engineer Caddy? This is actually my first time buying a Hitch and Timber product, and I'm hooked. So I'm probably gonna end up grabbing a few more of these from their website, just to see what other knives and what other flashlights I can fit in there. But if you guys do wanna pick up this Mini Engineer Caddy, it is going for $68.60 on their website right now. And if you guys wanna add the elastic pen loop, you have to add five bucks to that. But I will leave a link below in my description box if you guys wanna check this out. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!